Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. That's where you're at. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. Yes, I'm back on the airways and we're coming straight from my house to your house. And you just come on, let's sit down and we just chit chat for a little spell. Okay, yes. I'm in the south. I don't know if you're in the west coast, east coast, or wherever you're at. But you're family. You're at home. And we're going to talk about some gossip. We're going to talk about some entertainers roaming around here in this little celebrity world. Okay? Of entertainment. I got a story tonight. Yes, from Celebrity Insider. And it's talking about Candy Birds and Kenya Moore. What about my two favorites? Yes, we got the Bone Collector and the Shit Starter. Or should I say, they both shit starters. Daughters, but they give us entertainment Kenya wise Kenya stirring up shit every time She graces the screen And I ain't mad at her Cause that's why I come to the tube for I come to the tube to talk about their behinds And I go to my television screen Hit on Bravo channel To let them entertain me for an hour If they can do so And right now I can say They have been doing their job They have been getting paid But we do need to have a little bit more Icing on the cake, okay? We got the meat and potatoes, but they need to give us a little more dessert. But anyway, we got a story here coming piping hot from Celebrity Insider. Um, let me see. We got Alexis Stone. She's the commentator, the journalist, putting out this article for us to take part in. Yes, Candy Burris over there with Kenya Moore. Now, who would have thought? Because once upon a time, it was her and... Fade your paws. Can y'all get down? Can you get down with me? Elijah. Can you get down with me? Yes. Now it's Kenya and Candy. KK forever. Forever in a day. K and K forever in a day. Yes, Kenya and Candy are calling themselves the dynamic duo over there, okay? And I just feel like it's just going to have a bad ending. Just like her and uh, Phaedra Paws. They were known as KP. Y'all remember Phaedra Paws? Get down with the get down. That woman can shade you right out your drawers if you if she dared to, okay? Or right out your bra or, or drawers or however. No, male or female. I guess she shaded the shit out you in a heartbeat the southern way as they would say okay they were bosom buddies y'all remember them too they were almost like freaking frat but we pretty much named Portia and Phaedra the double P uh like freaking frat real good friends but you know Kenya couldn't stand Phaedra and Phaedra couldn't stand Kenya now how did Candy group up with being friends with Kenya, like all bosom buddies, bosom buddies, the dynamic two, the ones that can't do without each other. Now, you would have thought Candy would have got some sense by now, but I don't know. Rumors having it, she up there with the Illuminati guy. She had been inducted, and we just going to watch her move and see what kind of accolades she gets out there. Because we all know Candy can't sing. We all know Candy can't sing. Remember that? Every man wants a woman. Yes, honey, T.S. Madison over there, she did it real good. <laughs> she really portrayed or called to do a little skit on Candy when she was singing, Every man is a woman. Yes, honey, Candy can't sing. She can write. She can write her ass off here and there. You know what I'm saying? For some celebrities that take her song and do amazing things with it. And we just even going to say, remember Tardy for the Party? Candy wrote that too. And, uh, what's her name? Uh, that gonna, Kim Zozak took that ran with it and then paid Candy a dime for it. I tell you, people just know how to get off on Ken. I mean, on uh, Candy, and Kenya is one of them. Also, she's gonna use Candy up. She's gonna play like she didn't know this. She ain't know that, and she's gonna be on whoop Candy out of millions of dollars. Watch, you see what I'm saying? She's gonna get playing time, and Candy's gonna be shoved to the side, going on to other things, whatever that may be. Okay, she might be trying to be a TV host. Who are, who, who knows? But we know she ain't going to be singing nowhere. Because Candy's a backup singer. She's not out there to be put out in the front. Like, uh, say, who's a very good singer? 
that I can think of that be belting out songs, honey. Who, who, who can we say? Who can we say? Golly, because the only thing that's coming to my mind is Aretha Franklin. But that just tells my age, don't it? That just tells my age. But uh, I think her name is Janea Iko or something. Janine. I don't know, she be saying some, I don't know, I want you, I don't want you, I want some shit to go like that. I kind of like that song. Um, now, I just I just really come to a blank when we talk about people that can sing. You know, I kind of like Ashanti. Uh, let me see, let me see. For lack of a better person, Kelly Rowland can get down too. Um... I just really don't listen to a lot of new age people or just a new uh, genres of music or new r and I'm more like back up in the day like Tina Marie and Tammy Terrell and I ain't number 52 so I don't think I'm over the hill but I just can't think of no ones that I really really like now when I finish taping this episode of this particular article video oh I, I, it's gonna be a floodgate of people coming to my memory like NDRE I like her oh yes she can sing honey she can sing her ass off um you don't like neo type soul um what's that girl's name um dad she kind of heavy set jill scott like her like her like love some fantasia um the only one i can really think of at this time because i'm wasting too much time on carrying on uh, uh you know treading water here but i was just trying to make a an example of who can sing because you know candy she wrote lyrics for people uh like tlc no squirrels chili i think she could sing a little bit here and there uh but it was like going back and forth who really wrote the screws. Candy said with her, then Tiny T I Y said with her. Then they said they collaborated. Shit, I don't know who wrote TLC. I mean who wrote um no screws, but TLC sound the hell out of that song. And that's all I can remember. Alright? Cause the writers don't really know if their songs gonna be a hit until that artist get it and take it and make it theirs and then you know the icing is in the pudding you know what i'm saying so uh it takes off with the artist who's actually getting that song and doing their own thing with it and we gravitating it uh towards it and saying it's a hit or it's not a hit you know what i'm saying so uh just going back to the article yes i just find it very weird that candy once teamed up with phaser and when her and Phaedra fell out, you know, because it was kind of like Phaedra, Portia, and, uh, uh, what's the name? Candy. And then it was like they kind of fell out went to the side with some things. Or, you know, Candy was hearing some things. And so she kind of like just, you know, been to herself. Especially when the Apollo thing uh, got caught up in the uh, wash and it didn't come out clean. And it seems like Todd and Candy sided with Apollo, which kind of made Phaedra, put a strain on her and Phaedra's relationship. Because she didn't like a lot of things Phaedra were doing behind the scenes that we weren't privy of. But she was privy of, you know, like Mr. Chocolate, talking about it was Jamal Bryant, Giselle, ex-husband, she was fooling with and this, that, and the third. But, you know, it just goes on to say, you know, it just is what it is. And, um... Pretty much, that's how the uh, relationship kind of went down south. So then freaking Fred was formed with Portia and Phaedra. And they were doing what they felt they needed to do as friends. Until the whole fiasco came out that Phaedra had put out there allegedly that some drug was supposed to be going on. And so just, you know, t tasteless things that were supposed to be done to Portia if uh, they had did the right thing and drugging her drink or whatnot I, I don't know i didn't really quite believe it myself because they all freaky out there it didn't take much to say and it you definitely showed didn't have to be under the influence to say if portia wanted to get down because she was a little freaky thing back there too and she probably still a little freaky here and there and right now but just did what it is so they kind of fell apart Frazier got off the show because of that mess and you know Frazier's just still out there trying to be on somebody else's reality show but it just kind of you know make you wonder kind of make you lose taste in your mouth that Candy would still try to hook up with somebody on the show so right now it just seems like she's in good arms and, and good uh embraces with Cynthia and uh kenya but mostly she hanging out with kenya these days okay and i'm like man them, them ladies 
cut from the same cloth Phaedra and Kenya. And you think they're going to do right by you, Ken? The hell, Portia didn't do right. I mean, uh, Phaedra didn't do right by you. So you think Kenya going to do right by you? But, girl, you go home head and let that uh, sweet talking uh, Kenya Moore bite you in the ass okay because that's pretty much what she gonna bite you in the ass and your forehead wherever she can to just dismiss you and then you're either gonna be a, a thought or memory cast out to see or you're gonna probably be like Cynthia we're gonna put y'all both together and y'all can make scenes because she gonna be sitting up pretty and you're gonna be wondering how and why she got there just because you didn't watch it candy you didn't watch that slippering slithering serpent Kenya Moore girl she comes in many forms honey she's beautiful and she's witty and she's definitely intelligent she knows how to make a move when she can see herself being seen as the show stopper okay that ace boogie uh ace boom coon but enough of me telling my side of the story let's go on into this little beautiful article that Alexis Stone put together for us. She titled it, Canterbury Sat Down with Kenya Moore to Discuss All Things Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, it goes in to say, Canterbury told her fans that she sat down with Kenya Moore and discussed the Real Housewives of Atlanta series. She also shared a photo featuring the both of them on social media, and the ladies look amazing. Okay, I finally sat down with my girl at the Kenya Moore to discuss all things Real Housewives of Atlanta. My squad decided to switch up my look for this one and she gives out kudos to whoever got her dressed up and looking fabulous for whatever her and Kenya was sitting down trying to talk about and giving their two cents in on how Real Housewives of Atlanta have been very lucrative for them for season 12 I'm guessing because I'm just reading it while I'm bringing it to you all yes okay it says someone told her that my eight-year-old daughter and I Watch Real Housewives of Atlanta and you're our favorite. And one other follower said, my two beautiful, gorgeous queens. Okay, those were just commenters. Okay, but I guess if you go and watch it, I don't know where they put this story out at. Maybe been in um, Candace's home or maybe at her office. But it looked like they have a green screen and she's in some kind of black dress and um, Kenya's in some kind of pink frock. Okay, of an item. But anyway, they both look nice. But anyway, moving on from there, it says a fan wrote, You guys look like real Barbie dolls, black, beautiful, and bold. And someone else posted this candy. I always shut, shut down. So freaking gorgeous. Okay. Uh, one other follower believes that this look makes candy seem older. The look is okay. However, it makes you look older to me. But pretty is pretty, and that you are. One of Candace's fans uh, wants her to invite Nene Leaks on the series called Speak On It. Can you please do a speak on it with Nene? I've been waiting and waiting for that. And I'm like, just to that commenter, what the hell? Uh, Nene gonna go over to Candace's platform. Why don't Candy go over to Nene's platform? They both have YouTube channels, okay? Candy definitely has a larger much larger following than Nene, but you know, Nene's ain't too much to scoff at, you know what I'm saying? They have their own uh, platforms, and then if they have to come together and say whatever they want to say, they can say it on Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? But Nene ain't finna fool around with no candy, time about she finna go on her platform. So, yeah, if it did happen, I'll be right over there trying to get it and look at it and review it and whatnot. And I think I am gonna start reviewing their channels just to see. Uh, their perspective and see how I can get down with it or not. What y'all think about that family? Should I go on over there and do that? I think I will. Y'all watch out for it, okay? All right. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, uh, in other news, the other day, Candy and her hubby, Todd Tucker, attended a party, and they looked amazing. Uh, yeah, I think it was that party that Clyde Davis, or who is it, Clyde Davis had, uh, had, or sponsored, and they were all out there with the who's who and this, that, and the third, but I'm telling you, I think it was an Illuminati party out there, you know, they be doing in and everything, they be having some strange things happen at them parties, is what I'm, I'm told, now, I don't know, okay, because I don't get down like that, but my ear be to the street, yes, it do, and I had to come and talk to my fan, what y'all thought, y'all think, uh, can of party of that Illuminati group, huh? Child, it makes you wonder. Things are getting seem to be a little bit pretty uh lucrative for Cannon lately. And then uh Nene hanging out with Wendy Williams and whew, we already know how Wendy get down. Okay, for those who see, for those who hear, okay? But anyway, 
Strange things for some change. I think I gotta say strange things for some change. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it says, Kenya Moore, Eva Marcel, Cynthia Bailey, and Moore shared love for their friend on social media with praising messages. The other day, after Kenya learned about the tragedy that happened with Kobe Bryant, shared a photo featuring him and captioned it with the following words, I'm in shock. My heart goes out to Vanessa Bryant and their children and also to the families of the other people who didn't survive. This hurts. We lost a legend. Uh, hashtag Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, and rest in peace, Gigi. And uh, fans appreciate the fact that she posted about him and they sent prayers via the comments section. Okay, and I really love that. I really love that. Uh, Kenya uh, got on her Instagram or her social media platform and sent that shout out out. And that was a good thing. Um, I started to do a story on that. But, you know, when people die unexpectedly, I kind of like pay homage and... You know, you don't really know what to say. And I wasn't a, a true basketball follower. You know, my uh, men and my family, oh, they love Kobe. They love Shaq. They love uh, Michael Jordan. You know, they just, woo, they just love them. But, you know, anything that happens to a family tragically and it's unexpected, you just don't know what to say. The only thing you could do is basically throw out praises uh, or prayers. I should say not praises, but prayers. Uh, lift them up in prayer um, to, you, you know, your God or whatnot. I can't say everybody a serve the same God I serve, you know, because it is what it is. Everybody have their own religious beliefs. But uh, just send condolences out to those families because it's not just Kobe that lost his life. And a lot of people have definitely, uh, social media people have forgot that as well. You know, everybody's human stripped them of their titles of what they once were. In the world that we know of, they just human beings. So, every last one of them, you know, uh, my condolences goes out to their families, friends, uh, and associates, as well as um, definitely their mom and dads uh, that had experienced losing their children um, and they're still on earth. That's a hard pill to swallow because we all know that we as parents, we wish to see ourselves going to grave before we try to bury one of our children. So, uh, I did not want to do a story on uh, incidents of celebrities or people that I know that uh, actually died unexpectedly, not like real quick, like in a tragic accident or whatnot. It just seems it would be unfair to the family members as well that, you know, they may go look up at their phone and try to read a, a article that maybe going to take them from that situation. Then they see a whole flood line of people doing things and paying homage and all like that to their loved one that is no longer here. Then, you know, can you, you know, even think about them seeing that and how that may make them feel, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I, you know, I may do some um commentary on people that died that i knew was already out there struggling for their life meaning they had a a long time illness or you know they got stricken with cancer and it just went too far too fast or you know things that we knew the person was sick and it was just a matter of time that they were gonna you know not be on this earth as we know it <coughs> anymore but uh I, I just out of family respect and all of that i chose not to do it but for the ones that did hopefully everybody did it respectfully and the families didn't see any distaste but yeah honey what y'all think about kenya moore child and candy hooking up trying to call themselves best buddies bosom butters too tight and once again uh candy looping herself up Trying to be buddy buddy with somebody. No, she need to be at home working with her husband and her families and her newborn. Child, please. They ain't gonna try to make me feel like they friends. They ain't friends. They ain't none of none of these women on this show friends. They just trying to make themselves seem like they are to basically continue to make that moolah, that money, honey. That's their love. That's what they truly love and get down with. Making money on top of money, trying to keep money, trying to invest more money to make more money, more money, more money. Okay, and like I said, for those who trace after the money like that and want to secure the bag 24-7, let it be. Just loan more money, more problems, okay? More issues to deal with. When is enough, it's going to be enough. And um, it just is what it is, people. But that was my uh, time, my debut of 
um, an article that Celebrity Insider brought out titled, uh, Candy Burris sat down with Kenya Moore to discuss all the things Real Housewives of Atlanta. Which, in this article, it didn't really give me too many good points of what they had to really sit down and discuss. You know what I'm saying? I read it uh, verbatim, and I didn't really get too much out of it. It's just that them two trying to be pals and try to solidify a uh, uh, unity front that they're really cool and they tight and they're going to go hard for each other. <laughs> but uh, Candace say in a past uh, commentary she did when it was out there that Nene put that Candy is aligning herself but she has an alliance. But Candy act like she don't know what alliance means. <laughs> but she debunked Nene saying she's not in an alliance. She don't believe in being in a clique. I'm like, girl, Candy, sit yourself down somewhere. Sit your ass down somewhere, okay? But anyway, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this article that Celebrity Insider put out with regard to Alexis Stone bringing it uh, out in her article and titling it the way it was, okay? Because they too much didn't get down and talk about nothing that I saw or that I could read through this article. But it is what it is. Thank you, Alexis Stone, for gracing uh, the <clears throat> social media waves of trending hot topics out there coming from your boss celebrity inside giving me something to talk about and put my spin on it okay girl so keep on keeping on honey keep making your money keep writing those salacious slandering type of affectionate or uh nose worthy meaning we knows it, we curious Keep writing those kind of topics so we can keep talking about it. Keeping you employed. Keeping Celebrity Insider employed. And for those that make this a full-time employment, keeping us employed. Because I like my supplemental income. I wish it go higher than what it is. But it is what it is. I am thankful for it. Okay? But y'all get it out in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it or not. And I will see you next video. But before I say goodbye, please like comment and subscribe and share share my videos okay see you next time bye, -bye.